I'm getting too old for this shit. Somebody get me a goddamn wheelchair. Hey everybody, it's Glenn. Back in this video with Confessions of an Ebayaholic and the third and final part of my look at the Blade movie figures. Yep, third part like chewing gum long after the original flavour has gone. But hey, if Peter Jackson can do it with The Hobbit, then so can I. So Whistler, interesting fact for you. The character first appeared in the Spider-Man animated series. Taking a closer look at Whistler in packaging, and he comes with all manner of junk, or as Toy Biz call it, Vampire Plasma Booster. Taking a look at the card back, we have a picture of Whistler where you can't even see the whites of his eyes. It's like he's been possessed by that black oil from the X-Files. Quite disturbing. Reading the bio, Whistler's normal life was ripped to shreds the day his wife and two daughters were tortured and killed by a vampire disguised as a drifter. Left alive to live with his pain, Whistler dedicated himself from that day forward to the eradication of all vampires. To this end, he allied himself with Blade, whose similar mission and supernatural powers made him a perfect partner. Now providing Blade with both the serum that holds off his bloodlust and the Vampire Hunter's arsenal, Whistler can take a more active role in vampire extermination. Below the bio, we get a diagram which explains to us where to stick Whistler's weapons. Oh, kinky. So here is Whistler out of package. And while he looks absolutely nothing like Chris Christopherson, who plays him in the movie, the sculpt does capture the old, gnarly essence of the character. And in case you confuse him for just a figure of a generic old guy, he does come with his character-specific leg brace. The figure is less articulated than the Blade and Deacon Frost figures I have looked at. There's no wrist articulation, there's no ankle articulation. He does have single jointed elbows and single jointed knees. And nicely that knee articulation isn't hindered by the leg brace. Moving on to accessories, we get this knife, which we're told fits into a sheath on Whistler's boot. Once in place there, I'm sure with his disability and leg brace, he'll likely never be able to remove that. So we'll remove that for him. It does place in either of his hands, like thus. He also comes with this rifle. It's in a sheath. We are told that the sheath slots onto the figure's belt, but I've tried it and it's just clumsy and goofy looking. But it's a pretty nice looking rifle. We also have this other gun, which compared to the rifle, let's just say it's a little less bound to reality. And finally, the Vampire Plasma Booster. It's actually pretty cool. It has this red liquid in it, which I'm amazed after 14 years hasn't all dried up. But you can squeeze the um, blood sack here and it pumps blood up the tube into the gun part of the booster. And this also has a slot where it can be attached to the figure's belt. Anyway, here's Whistler reunited with my other Blade movie figures that we've looked at over the last few days. I hope you've enjoyed the videos. Please comment, rate, share and subscribe. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.